Hi, my name is Mauro Deato, and today I'm going to teach you how to read the waveform in DaVinci Resolve. Here I have a clip I shot in Hong Kong of Alan Pander. Let's go into the color tab, and now we're going to enable the scopes. So let's right click, show scopes. The scopes are showing me the histogram, but I want to talk about the waveform. So let's change this to waveform. The waveform basically shows us a representation, left to right, of the luminance values of each color red, green, and blue, where the top line is pure white and below zero is pure black. So we don't want anything in the image to be touching this line or that line. Now I'm going to play back the clip, so you will see how the waveform changes. Look at the waveform. Can you see this bar moving down here? That's him, that's the main character. If the waveform goes down, that means we're getting into the darker tones. And that's exactly what's happening here. He's dressed all in black, so basically we're getting a darker tones. We also have the three columns, one, two, and three, that there's this ones, one, two, and three, that they're also darker compared to the windows. And all this top part, those are the windows in the sky. Those are the brightest parts of our image. As you can see right here, the color blue is the one that is higher. And that also means that this tone is gonna be more blue. Let's decrease the temperature so you'll see how this blue gets adjusted. If I increase temperature, that will mean the red will go up and this blue will go down. Have a look. And that's it. Once you match the three colors, red, green and blue, you get pure white, or pure grey if it was here, or pure black if it was here. So this is a really quick way to make sure a white is white and your white balances are correct. Now I'm gonna bring these shadows a little bit down to create a little bit of contrast. Look at the waveform, all the way down, without touching. Because if we touch, we're gonna lose all this texture. So we don't wanna do that. And I'm gonna increase the highlights almost all the way to the top, right here. Let's increase a little bit the mid-tones. As you can see, it's very easy to read the waveform and it's very useful when it comes to color correction. And that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.